1998. Ooh, now that, that looks pretty, pretty cool. Hey viewers, and in today's video, you will learn how to design blog feature images. And I'm Roy, a UI web designer based in the UK. Okay, so before we get into the video, I would like to produce content that can help you. Please leave a comment if you are a beginner, developer, or designer come up with different variants because when you start presenting this to clients you can show them different variants they might have a preference on what they'd want to choose and if you're not a creative person I'm also not a creative person try a lot of different experiments 690 by 418 And I'm just going to quickly duplicate that because that is basically the size that we're going to use. So a very quick one is hit the T and we just say number one. Oop. And that is going to be the lot. And let's go really big. Let's say, ooh, let's say four times 96. Again, we're using the eight point grid system and that looks pretty good but we want to have a play so rather than filling it we can have a stroke we say two from the center hit the t tool again and what we can do is the body text is going to be ibm plex mono and this is going to be around font size 20 and let's say semi bold Typog typography. Okay, actually let's say thirty-two or forty. Then we can go medium, okay? And I'm just gonna duplicate that. So the background is going to be just dark. So I'm just gonna copy these two, duplicate, cut. And then paste we are just gonna get we're just gonna change the stroke so what I'll do is on this one I need to make the stroke white and this one I need to make that also white we can flatten this the shortcut for that is command and E and I'm gonna give this a gradient on the stroke so I already have a pre-made gradient and just to do this from scratch, we can go angular and I'm just going to choose a bunch of different colors. So I'm going to say, OK, let's start at around red. And then we'll go to. Let's say we go to around orange. Let's say that's 100. And then we're going to go to, let's say, green. That would also be a hundred. And then right at the end, let's go different. Let's say around blue, that would also be a hundred. Okay. Let's say we go right to the edge. Now we're going to have like a, a badge or coin or medal. So again, I'm just going to duplicate this could actually be a component, couldn't it? Because we're going to save time that way. So I'm actually going to make that into a component. So Command Alt K. And this is just going to, I'm just going to call this graphics or graphic. So Shift and I, and we're going to look for graphic. And then I'm just going to detach because I'm going to go crazy. Spacing, and let's say the number again. Let's just play around. So, number two, and again, we're going to have to flatten this because, well, let's see if we don't flatten it. Now, here's a pre made gradient, so I'm not going to flatten it this time. This one again, the um, yeah, the spacing, this one could be smaller, so let's say 24. Nice. So this stroke is actually a lot thinner. I could say four. And then I'm going to go O, click. 
and just drag it and then center a line. I'm going to make that white. And then this one here, I just want to make that very slight gray. There we go. And then these two, I'm just going to pop it in there. And then I'm going to frame that. And let's see if this will work. Center, center. No. So what you have to do is go in. And then try and center it like that. Center, center. Okay, no. So I'm probably centering the wrong thing. There we go. So what we could probably do is make this a bit smaller. So let's minus 40. And right, right now we're just doing this really rough. Oh, and the reason why it's not going in the middle is because of the line height. So I'm just going to flatten that. Now it'll be in the middle. This will be in the middle. And this one on the ellipse, we can give that a very simple shadow. So you can see that's quite harsh. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring it down to, let's say 15 and the blur around eight. You can even bring it out a bit more. That might be a bit much. Let's say two. We do shift I. We're going to look for graphic component. Not sure why that is within that frame. So I'm cutting pasting. And this again is, is a lot more simpler in that, okay, we need to make the whole thing dark. And then, oh, let me just line this up. I need to detach this. Hit enter to go in. And I want to make typography white. So now we're going for a dark card. And here, again, we can go to fill. I'm going to use the pre-made, the pre-made gradient. And then you can break it and you can actually play around. So I'm going to, I say, hey, do we want it to be from there? Do we want it to be from down here? Or do we want it to be up there? So I'm just going to play around and say, hey, why don't we, why don't we do it at that point? Now, that might look different and strange, but hey. Okay, so let's change the number to, let's, Let's try four. Let's just do three. And then what we're going to do is we are just going to duplicate because I want to save this. And if I go to command forward slash, the plugin is called isometric. And then it will just give you the isometric feel. Even just like that, it might work. And then what we're going to do is one issue with this is the opacity. So here is not very readable. If this is always in the middle, it's a bit hard to read. So I'm going to then just command D. Well, actually, what we're going to do first is going to flatten that command D shift drag up. And this is going to go all the way to dark because we want it to fade. And then we're going to select both, command forward slash, we're going to say blending me. But actually, what I want to do first is, is choose a color. So I'm going to say, okay, we're going to go around red. That is looking cool. And then these two now, command forward slash, blending me. Let's say there's about six between them. Create. Oh, now that, that looks pretty, pretty cool. And now I just want to make sure that this is behind. Okay, so again, we got number three. And we actually going to do the same effect like this. Um, so I'm going to just command D again. I need to then flatten. So command E, command E. This one is going to go to dark then this one is also going to be let's say let's say we give this a 
Ooh, let's see where yellow, yellowish. Here we go. And then I'm going to select both. And well, actually, what we have to do is we're going to make this one bigger. There we go. Like way bigger like that. Select both. Command forward slash. Blending me. I'm going to say six creates. Oh, very nice. So that is not exactly like that, but I'm going to say number five. Now we're going to make that white. Okay, so I'm going to detach, keep forgetting the shortcut. And now command forward slash isometric. There we go. And then we're just going to make that flat command D again. Just go up a bit. And again, we are going to make that go dark. And this time, let's say we're going to make that a different color. So let's say, I think all of them should be a different color. Let's say blue. And then we're going to select both. Command forward slash blending me is a pretty cool one. Six create. Whew, that is interesting. This feels like Tron kind of style. And then the last thing to do is we are going to scale. So make sure you click here, scale. And then you just have to hold shift and alt and you just go like that. Whoa. Copy that. Go here. And let's see how this looks. So what I'm going to very quickly do in these styles, I'm going to create a number one as well. So yeah, we've got some different styles. So now we're going to see how this looks in here. So these are cards and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start replacing these. So we could create variants for cards, but for now, I'm just going to go command alt K and this is going to be number five. We're going to swap. So the way to do that is go here and we go feature. Let's say one. There we go. This seems to be in dark mode. We don't have to use this image. This could be actually the R. So here I'm going to change this. I'm going to start swapping these out. So. So right now you can see how it's starting to evolve and what we can do, we can actually, I'm thinking the R might be better than seeing this. And then what we could probably do, we could just play around. So you could say number one, let's say 40, 96. So it's like the, the one is in the middle of the R. You could even have D1, couldn't you? Ready designer one. Nice. So I'm also going to convert this. So we are going to do command OK. We're going to say feature zero. And 
and I'm just going to duplicate the whole thing just so we got a different version and in here well we can't really insert it so well we should be able to so command forward slash oh, shift I feature feature zero and that goes in so I'm just going to find a dimension 827582 827582 and center that whoa so this one I'm just going to detach so I just want to see how this will look when it is in the center Ooh. Make sure you select everything. I just want to put it around in the center like so. Okay, so I think we have created a different concept and hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like, leave a comment, 